Anyway, do we have any Twitter shout outs by any chance, engineer? All right, well, let's go ahead and get to some Twitter shout outs right now. <laughs> anyway, we got Critical Sands in the house. What's going on to Dots Kit? How you doing? We've got Supa in the place, Sergeant Yoda in the house. What's going on? Uh, we've got Pennsylvania for Ghost. We've got Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia. Uh, who else we got here? Uh, DJ Reagan in the mix. Uh, we've got CDI fan 237. Uh, we've got Obama is black Trump. What the hell does that mean? Obama is black. Obama's an idiot. What are you talking about? He turned goddamn America into a bunch of cuckold connoisseurs. Jesus Christ. Anyway, who else do we have here? We got uh, Cogdat. We've got Polka. What's going on to Pol out there? How you doing, man? Keep investigating, man. You got that guys on Pol. I'm telling you, everybody is underestimating the power of Pol. All right. What's going on to Czech capitalist in the house? Uh, we've got Distilling Deplorable. What's going on, Distilling? Uh, we've got uh, Venison in the place. What's going on? Uh, sick broad for ghost. Yeah, real funny ass crack. All right. Uh, go in the oven, Soros. Oh, oh, that's harsh, baby. Although uh, George Soros was a Nazi collaborator that uh, you know helped the Nazis, you know, put you know his fellow Jewish brethren into the gas chambers. That's an actual fact. You know, as a matter of fact, hey, uh, can you cue up the? Uh, the time that he talks about Nazi occupation being the greatest time of George Soros' life. Can you get that, Engineer? Yes, That was your problem. Uh, he doesn't like George Soros. I don't blame him either. Anyway, look, look, this is George Soros talking about the happiest time of his life being under Nazi occupation. Go ahead and roll it, Engineer. This is George Soros. This is a man that owns Black Lives Matter. This is a man that owns Black Lives Matter. Go ahead, Engineer. It was actually Jesus probably Christ. the happiest year of my life, that year of German occupation. For me, it's a very positive experience. It's a, a strange thing, you know, because you see incredible suffering around you, and, and in fact, you are, you are in considerable danger uh, yourself. But you, you're 14 years old, and you don't believe that it can actually touch you. You have a belief in yourself, your belief in your father. It's a very uh, happy-making, exhilarating experience. Yeah, there it is right there. The Prince of Freaking Darkness, George Soros, talking from his own words. That's a real clip, folks, talking about uh, the most happiest time of his life, being under German occupation for heaven's sake. Jesus Christ. What a sick man. What a very sick man. Uh, we got the MySpace Mexican in the house. What's going on? We got big top capitalists in the place. Dorito Burrito, Ward 24, anarcho-capitalist. What's going on? Who else do we got going on here? We got Justin Rutherford in the place. Ghost Kruger. Jesus Christ. The new CTR. Uh, we've got uh, Havel the Rock in the place. Who else do we got here? Once again, retweet the tweet that states True Capitalist Radio now live. True Capitalist Radio live, and I will give you a shout-out right here on the broadcast. We've got uh, J-Man Capitalist. we got Capitalist Keck. we got Raiden Snake. we got AL Game Freak. we got Mark Montag in the place. What's going on? Uh, we've got, uh, I'm not saying that disgusting name. we got NR, NRJ Commando. Uh, we've got Karaskin. What's going on to Karaskin? Uh, we got Metroid Junkie in the place. Uh, who else do we got here, for Christ's sake? Uh, we got, uh, I'm not saying these sick-ass names, man, all right? You assholes that are sitting here trying to put these sick-ass names out of here, you guys are sick, twisted pricks, all right? I'll tell you that right goddamn now. Uh, we got Crackhead Cuckery. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, you people are sick. That's all I'm saying. You people are sick. And there's dildo faggins. Anyway, we got D disco waffle in the house. There's Smiler. What's going on? Michael Clark done goofed. Uh, we got Brony Network in the house. Ghoster Holt. 
Don't compare me to Lester Holt, you son of a bitch. All right, don't compare me to that dump. Don't, don't, don't compare me. Uh, New York Zoo Chimps escaped. Oh, come on now. Oh, man, that's, oh, come on, that's racist, man. That's racist. Jesus Christ. We got grim capitalists in the place. Uh, proud American doggo. We got Cam the Man. We got Dr. Bristle. We got Templeton Turkey. What the hell does that mean, Templeton Turkey, for Christ's sake, man? We got Mojave Skeleton. Uh, we got Incarcerate Clinton. Yeah, no kidding, man. Straight up, man. Hillary for prison, baby. Let's make it happen. Hillary for prison. Let's make it goddamn happen. Anyway, who else do we have here? We got Hammy Shanks. We got Godzilla in the place. Uh, we've got uh, Trump and Capitalist. What's going on, man? How you doing? Green leader in the place. Trump is Obama's puppet. Oh, gee, shove it up your ass. Why? Because he went to go visit the White House today, for heaven's sake? I mean, he totally cucked Obama. I mean, look at Obama. He's like, oh, well, yes, we had a good uh, conversation about uh, how to transition. And uh, meh, meh, meh. I mean, Obama canceled the photo op, according to goddamn Drudge Report, baby. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's the Donald Trump effect. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. He completely cucked. Obama. I mean, Obama, I'm telling you this right now, and he, I think Obama likes it, to be honest with you. I think Obama likes being cucked, if you want my personal opinion. I mean, he's married to that trans testicle, and, and you know, by all reports, I hear that Michelle Obama is going to potentially run for president in the year 2020. Are you kidding me? Look, I have no problem. You want to run for president, Michelle? Fine. I want to make sure that you're a biological woman. All right, I'm serious. All right, you want to hey, you want to run for president? I want to make sure that you're not packing a tree trunk between your legs, Michelle. All right, because look, I've seen the footage. I, I've seen that Ellen DeGeneres dance video. I've seen uh, that bulge in that dress and that one blue dress. Yeah, uh, look, let me tell you something right now. All right. I want to know if that is a biological woman, because as far as I'm concerned, Joan Rivers, all right, Joan Rivers stated that she knew and everybody in Hollywood knew that Obama was, quote, the first gay president and Michelle Obama was a tranny. And literally, what, maybe two months later, she was dead. Joan Rivers was dead. So that's why I'm saying, and that's another thing, okay, uh, you're married to a tranny, okay, that's okay. That's fine, Obama, why are you hiding it? I mean, aren't you liberal? I mean, aren't you Mr. Gay Marriage? Aren't you the guy that created gay marriage? Why are you hiding this? Why are you hiding that you are married to a tranny, all right, and probably bottoming for a tranny, it looks like, for Christ's sake. I mean, have you seen Michelle Obama? I mean, Jesus Christ has brought to play freaking a linebacker for the San Francisco 49ers, for Christ's sake. Or better yet, I think that she would love to play uh, linebacker for the San Francisco 49ers, so maybe she could put some meat in the can to old uh, fruity-ass uh, uh, Colin Kaepernick, and maybe then he'll have some real black in him. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, let, let me take a drink. Let me take a drink of some liberal tears here, and then I'm going to go back to the Twitter shout Let's go. Let me take some liberal tears drinking here. Ah. I'm telling you, liberal tears never tasted so delicious. <laughs> anyway, we got KGB agent A. Cal. How you doing? Al Cal. How you doing, man? Uh, we've got bacon capitalist. Uh, who else do we got here? Once again, retweet the tweet that states true capitalist radio live, and I'll give you a shout out right here. All right. On the broadcast. We got fruitcakes for ghosts. Now, let, let's not even talk about that, all right? I mean, as we get closer and closer to the goddamn holidays, I'm going to be looking at all these dumb relatives that I don't even want to talk to. I don't even want to look at. I, you know what I mean? I mean, it's not like any of these people ever gave a crap about me uh, except to suck up to me whenever they wanted free foods and f free booze and, 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 and a potential handout. I mean, just Jesus Christ. Anyway, we got Princess Argenta. Uh, we got uh, we we got uh, Artron Havoc. You wrote in Jeb Bush. Well, you're an idiot. All right. 
You're a goddamn idiot, for Christ's sake. Mrs. Ghost's autograph. Look, let's not go there, for Christ's sake. I mean, are you all serious? Are you all serious about this? I mean, what the, what, what the hell? Mrs. Ghost's autograph. Get, oh. Get the hell out of here, for Christ's sake, man. Get the hell out of here. I'm only going to take a couple of more of these, and I'm moving on, for Christ's sake, man, all right? We got uh, Meredith Vieira 2020. No, let's not go back to that meme. Well, that meme was, what, like 2009, Meredith Vieira? I'm, 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 I hate these stupid memes like that. You know, I mean, these, these half-tard memes where, you know, hey, Meredith Vieira, Meredith Vieira. And, and remember that other one? LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James. I mean, just shut up. I mean... Come up with a meme that's going to do something that's a little lousy, for Christ's sake, man. Good God, man. Anyway, we've got... Uh, uh, Jesus Christ. I, I'm, I'm sorry, folks. I'm just I'm sick of this crap, man. I'm only going to take a couple more Twitter shout-outs, and I'm going to move on with the broadcast, because this is getting ridiculous, and I can already tell that these people are, are trying to get on my nerves. All right? They're, your people are trying to get on my nose. We got Ken Bone 2020. Ken Bone, huh? Ken Bone, for Christ's sake, man, leave that f- poor fat man alone, for heaven's sake. Trump rigged it. Watch. You know what? Shove it up. Shove it up your ass. You know what? Screw you, people, man. I'm not going to take any more Twitter shout-outs. I can already tell we got a bunch of butthurt liberals out there listening, saying, "Wah, wah." Trump rigged the election. Shove it up your ass. Shove it up your ass, for Christ's sake, man. Give me the goddamn mic. Give me the mic. Give me that goddamn mic, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. Look, I'm not, I'm not going to take any more Twitter shout-outs, all right? You people, are, you people are ass cracks, all right? All right? Happy birthday, Marines. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to everybody's favorite part of the broadcast. Do we have any uh, radio graffiti callers, engineer? <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and get to radio graffiti right now. <laughs> All right, who do we got going on here? How about anonymous radio graffiti? Twilly Atkins radio graffiti. You're gonna goddamn miss me. I can hear a goddamn kid, you sons of bitches. You know what, just shove, shove it up your ass, Tweely. I'm serious, man. You see, I don't understand how in the hell and why in the hell you people want me dead. I mean, why do y'all troll about it? Why do you think it's a, you know, a, a big freaking joke? That's not the, that's not something to joke about, man. That's not something to joke about. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, folks, uh... Hold on a second. What what the hell is this? What the what the hell are you showing me, engineer? Oh my God! No! Uh, hold on a second. T- Tub guy, did he fulfill his promise of taking a bath with my autograph if Trump won? Turn it up, engineer. Let's hear what he says for Christ's sake. I promise. I'm here. To start off, I have a candle here so a certain someone can't claim the room smells like butt crack. Over here, I have a genuine bottle of social justice warrior tears. Mmm, delicious. And finally, of course, ghost autograph. So now it'll be like bathing with a small piece of him every time I hop in the tub. It'll be totally legit. Oh my. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, yeah! Oh my god, no! That shit! Damn it, that shit! Folks, freaking 
Jesus Christ. 
We got uh, Disco Waffle, Radio Graffiti. Keep Keep <laughs> Oh, Christ, no! Get away! Get away, I'm a... What the hell was are you a Pac-Man freaking splice? Are you serious? Jesus. Anonymous radio graffiti. Night Prowler radio graffiti. I am putting a freaking dildo up my ass right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. You son of a bitch! Goddamn son of a bitch! Shut up your ass! Stop trying to make me sound fruity, boy! Stop trying to splice my voice and trying to make me sound like some goddamn taking it up the pooper homosexual! I'm telling you, stop it, you stop it now, or I am out of here. I am out, I am out. Jesus Christ, give me the mic. Give me the mic. Give me the freaking mic, for Christ's sake, you sick, twisted perverts. Sick, twisted perverts is what you are. Jesus Christ. Hey, look at this. Uh, out of Infowars.com right now. Canada or bust. Airline offers anti-Trump celebrities free flights to Canada. All right. Now, did you hear that? Uh, Snoop Dogg. Huh? Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Lena Dunham. Amy Schumer. Chelsea Handler. Huh? You hear that, Cher? Get out. Get out of my country. All of you. Get out. Get out of my country, you ungrateful pieces of crap. <sighs> Jesus Christ, who else do we have here? Anonymous Radio Graffiti. Hi, my name is you. My name is racist. My name is Hambo. My name is you. My name is racist. My name is Hambo. My name is you. My name is racist. My name is Hambo. Uh, f- first of all, first and foremost, screw Eminem. Secondly, I am not a Jew. Thirdly, all right, I'm not a racist. I'm a melting pot of friendship, all right? And uh, fourth off, uh, I'm not a freaking ham bone, all right, ass crack? I'm not a freaking ham bone. I'm telling you, I am waiting. I, I-, I really would like to try to uh, find Eminem on the street. And beat the living be Jesus out of him. And as I stated, I would not, I would not leave. I would wait for the cops. I'd proudly be handcuffed and taken to jail. And as I stated, time and time and time again, once I get into the jail, okay, all the black people in jail would hoist me on their goddamn shoulder like I'm a freaking sultan because I kicked the crap out of this cracker ass cracker. Do you understand? Huh, boy? I'm serious. I'm not joking around. I, I'm telling you, all the black people, all the ethnic minorities, they'd hoist me on their shoulder because I beat the crap out of this cracker-ass cracker, for Christ's sake. I would become Mr. Black People in that damn jail cell. I tell you that right goddamn now. I would be Mr. Black People. Anyway, let me go ahead and uh, continue on, for Christ's sake. Anonymous Radio Graffiti. Vote 73, Radio Graffiti. I am a racist Jew. I am a racist Jew. All right. I am a racist Jew. I am a racist Jew. All right. I am a racist Jew. I am a racist Jew. All right, I am a racist Jew. All right, we, we get it. I already said I wasn't a Jew. I'm not a racist, all right? Son of a bitch. I wear yarmulkes for coffee filters. 
973 Radio Graffiti. That was the phone number of the turtle next door. Always played with her, yo, yo. Well, yeah, yeah, you have an Obama phone, and I can't understand you. I mean, I use yarmulkes for coffee filters. I don't wear the sons of bitches. Jesus Christ. How about uh, area code 352 Radio Graffiti? This is true Looney Tunes Radio, yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I am your host, the, 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 the pig, the, 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 the call p- 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 Pointy Pig. The curly tailed farmant of business. Yeah, but it's a big deal. Give him ham bones or give him death. Hey, you're pixelated. Broadcasting from his pig pen and out back of old McDonald's farm. Yeah. Tell me, is, is there any insanity in your family? And now, he'll take it from here. Your host, the muddy flea bitten galoot of flea bitten galoots. The fatter than a slop hog they call Porky the Pig. Now you cut that out! You suck. We got a Helen Keller deaf mute over here in San Hambonio. How about 716 Radio Graffiti? Hey, yo, didn't get to call in yesterday to congratulate you on your tremendous work during the meme wars. Just came to call in and say, good job and keep fighting the good fight. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, uh, you know, for your kind words. Uh, once again, I mean, we have been victorious in the meme wars. And uh, let me tell you something right now. I, 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 there's many more battles to come. Uh, but uh, right now, this week, we celebrate. Next week, it's on with the capitalist agenda, baby. We're going to make America capitalist again. And that's all there is to it. How about anonymous radio graffiti? Templeton Sanders radio graffiti. Hillary Rotten Clinton. I want you to eat my penis. Yeah. Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Yeah, it's kind of bittersweet. That's right. Oh, oh my God. You sick son of a bitch. You sick son of a bitch. What the, what the hell? Is, what the goddamn hell was that crap? What the goddamn hell was that for heaven's sake? Man, I'm, you know, I'm getting tired of this crap, man. Seriously. All right? I mean, we actually have President Trump now, and, you know, I shouldn't be putting up with this crap anymore. I'm serious. All right? I mean, President Trump is now the man. I mean, we shouldn't, I shouldn't have to be putting up with this crap. I mean, I deserve more respect, for Christ's sake, man. I mean, I'm a capitalist! Ha, ah, ha, ha! And I deserve the respect of Corinth that title, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ, man. Give, give me the freaking mic. Give me the mic. Give me the freaking mic, for heaven's sake, man. I'm warning you, man. Next one of those, I'm out of here. I'm not going to sit over here and put up with this crap. All right. I, I, I deserve more respect. I can tell you that right damn now. Jesus Christ. How about anonymous radio graffiti? Oh, yeah, oh, Jesus Christ, the Helen Keller deaf mute for Christ. Get it straight! Get it straight! Anonymous radio goddamn graffiti. Jeez, this guy's deep throating his phone for Christ. Do you hear him? He's playing with his pecker shaft. Not Jesus Christ. Anonymous radio graffiti. Jesus Christ. Good night, guys. Distilling capitalist here, man. How are you? 
Hey, what's going on, Distillin? How you doing today, man? Uh, pretty good, mate. It's actually Remembrance Day over here, which is your Veterans Day. So I've just got done with the um, raising and lowering of the flags. Um, what I wanted to ask you is, in regards to your election, why the fuck are the libtards so goddamn hypocritical? I mean, one second they're telling Trump to accept the vote no matter what it is, and the next they're out there whinging in front of Trump Tower. They're hypocrites, man. I'm telling you, these people are lunatics, liberal lunacy. I mean, democracy only works when it works for them. I mean, we sat here, I had to sit here and pallet eight years of Obama, and uh, we uh, barely made it out, for Christ's sake. Now we're trying to make America great again, and this is what we have. I'm telling you, these liberals, they don't, they don't think in rational thought. These people are idiots. They're more like the attention whores I was talking about earlier. They're ungrateful, they're self-absorbed, they're hypocritical, and they're ignorant as well, man. So, I mean, you can thank the single-parent families of this country. You can thank the public education system of this country, so on and so forth, man. So it, it is – it's pretty bad out here, man. It's, it's sad. It's sad. I know they're bashing Trump out there in Australia, too. Am I correct? Oh, you would not believe it, man. It is insane. Um, I haven't seen a positive newspaper article, media article, anything on the TV. I haven't seen a single positive thing from the Australian media at all. Well, that's unfortunate, man. I'm telling you. Thank you very much there, Distillin. But uh, it's unfortunate that Australia, uh, and let me tell you, I actually like Australia. I, I, I actually want to visit Australia. Uh, but, man, now that they're turning more for the progressive, more towards the left, uh, they got rid of their guns. You know, they, 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 tur they told the uh, Australian citizens to t turn in their guns. I mean, just it, it's, it's going out of whack out there, man. I hope that someone uh, stands up in the political scene in Australia and has a theme much like Trump making Australia great again. Because that's a beautiful country, man. I'm telling you. A beautiful country. I mean, it, it, most of the country is undeveloped. Uh, most of the country is, uh, you know, not populated. Very, very cool uh, part of the world there, Australia. Cheers to my fellow brethren in Australia as well. How about anonymous radio graffiti? Benito Gostini, Radio Graffiti. In Chicago, we got a bunch of didn't do nothings blocking traffic. I mean, hey, let me tell you something. To be honest with you, when I'm driving down the street and I see a nigger in the road, I floor the freaking gas pedal. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I mean, that's horrible, Benito. That's horrible! First of all, I never said that, and secondly, that's a that's freaking racist, man. A freaking racist! Good God! Anonymous Radio Graffiti. we got a, a decent penist again another decent penist uh who else do we have going on here how about 805 radio graffiti happy hanukkah ghost happy hanukkah i don't celebrate hanukkah ass crack jesus christ i am not a jew shut up i use yarmulkes for coffee filters all right i allow the bread to rise i don't like matzo balls all right Anonymous Radio Graffiti. <laughs> All right, shut up with that stupid idiot song. All right, just shut up. I know what that dumbass song is, for heaven's sake. 832 Radio Graffiti. Hello, girls. This is Dermot the Gay Park here, and I was wondering that now that Trump is president, will I be able to have gay anal sex in front of an elementary school? I think it will be pretty fun. 
Shut up, you stupid freak show frog! Shut up! Jesus Christ! Good God, 646 Radio Goddamn Graffiti. Jesus Christ. Right now, a historic moment. Uh, we can now project the winner of the presidential race. CNN projects Donald Trump wins the presidency. The business tycoon and TV personality counting his improbable political journey an astounding upset victory. Donald J. Trump will be. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, keep, keep feeding us those liberal tears, all right? Keep feeding us those liberal tears. They're delicious. I like it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Who else do we have here, for Christ's sake? Uh, how about anonymous radio graffiti? Danny J, radio graffiti. And let me tell you, folks, if you're still watching this lamestream, mainstream media, and you're on the Internet, you're a damn fucking excuse. Excuse my French, folks. You're a damn lazy fool. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it clean here, folks. I didn't mean to slip up, uh, you know, my... My traditional vernacular, you know, I... Sick of that goddamn troll! I'm... I'm sick of that troll! Shut up your ass! Man, I'm sick of that dumbass troll! Shove that dumb, stupid, old, playout troll straight up your ass! Oh, Jesus, man. I'm sick of that troll. Stop doing that freaking troll, you dumbasses. Seriously, stop it. I'm sick of that. Stop. Give me the mic. Give me the, mic. Give me the freaking goddamn mic, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, we got ten minutes left. Thank God. Thank God. Thank goddamn God. 952 Radio Goddamn Graffiti. Yeah, hey, man, it's me from yesterday. I didn't get to finish my point. It was actually a good point. So, okay, so Bernie Sanders, he's a socialist, right? So, like, I'm always seeing these guys, everyone's, like, on their phone all the time. And honestly, dude, I think we could all stand to be a little more social. Yeah, uh, well, I'm glad that you uh, finally took the asking question every statement vernacular out of your damn language because yesterday you, you, now you sound like you got a pair of balls yesterday you're like uh yeah um it's like uh bernie sanders and uh you know uh me, 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 me. Sh- shut up all right and yeah we do need to be a little bit more social but why don't you tell that to the assholes that are glued to their phone? Why don't you tell that to the assholes that are out here on social media 24 hours a day trying to finger-bang Miss Annie Mae Rottencrotch over this fiber-optically connected world we call the Internet? Huh? Why don't you go tell that to these imbeciles that are utilizing plentyoffish.com so that they can get themselves uh, and their wee-wees played with, for heaven's sake? Why don't you tell that to that? Good God, who else do we have here? 484 Radio Goddamn Graffiti. Just shut up, shut up, shut up! 909 Radio Graffiti. Heavily supported Bernie, heavily supported Hillary. And I still think that in her lifetime, she deserves to be the first female president. And that's what makes me so sad. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no kidding. I mean, that was Miley Cyrus, for Christ's sake. Uh, Miss Skankasaurus herself. Miss Skankasaurus slut bag over here. Oh, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Shut up, you stupid Skankasaurus slut bag, for Christ's sake, man. You probably got so many infestations of fungi and diseases up in your uterus crack. 
I'm sure you could probably donate your body to science and infect the whole goddamn uh, uh, science exploration crew with a new unfounded sexually transmitted disease that turns your crotch into liquid crap. Good God. How about 616 Radio Goddamn Graffiti? Hey, Ghost. Tactical memes here. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people, people in general on both sides, never took a uh, civics course about our elections. Like, say say Donald, Donald Trump win, wins, of course, but the Electoral College votes Hillary, or vice versa, that would be the worst possible thing that would po- probably ever happen, more than any candidate in history could ever do damage if that scenario occurred because it would set a a horrible, terrible precedent that would change. It would do more damage than anything else I could think of. Well, I don't think that's going to happen in this election cycle one bit. I actually think the electoral college is going to vote for the will of the people. And if they don't, uh, they better watch themselves. That's all I'm saying. Anonymous Radio Graffiti. I got your flu state right here, baby. Black and blue. Oh, no, no, don't you even, don't you even dare, boy. Let me tell you something right now. Now that Donald Trump has won the election. We, out here in Texas, we're going to systematically eliminate these leftists like you would any kind of parasite or roach. We're going to systematically get these people out of Texas, seriously. And if not out of Texas, we're going to make the environment so uncomfortable for these leftist pieces of trash that we're going to shame these people for participating in leftism. Because as I stated, folks, if you voted for Hillary Clinton, if you were supporting the Democrats and Hillary Clinton, you were supporting Satanism, you were supporting pedophilia, you were supporting criminality, you were supporting corruption. And you need to realize that, and you need to understand that really quick there, boy. Jesus Christ. We got 213 Radio Goddamn Graffiti. Fuck you, Lone Star Bear. Fuck that fucking Alamo and fucking Lone Hey, hey, wait, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shut that song up your ass already. Let's not start that crap. 973 Radio Graffiti. Man, we can't understand you with that Obama phone, man. Seriously, get a damn better phone, please. 610 Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost. I wanted to weigh in on the election, but since it's uh, Radio Graffiti, I guess I'm just going to give a shout-out to the engineer. Good job. Hey, man, thank you very much. Sorry about that. We'll go ahead and open up the phone lines tomorrow for a Baller Friday free format edition. So uh, be tuning in during that time. I'll make sure to take plenty of calls, and uh, we'll discuss whatever you want to discuss like we do every Baller Friday. Uh, who else do we got here? How about 225, Radio Graffiti? Uh, hello? Yeah. Oh, uh, like the show, man. Uh, keep doing the good work. Hey, man, thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. Who else do we have here? Uh, how about... Jesus Christ, with these dumbass freaking anonymouses, for Christ's sake, shove it up your ass. Good God. How about 541 Radio Graffiti? there, Godzilla. I really appreciate it, man. Who else do we have going on here? Jesus Christ. How about 619 Radio Graffiti? Hey, goes. It's Asho. I have uh, two questions. Uh, do you know that California is trying to secede from the United States? And I have another question. What's up with fucking these liberals uh, talking about the Electoral College that it can be repealed uh, that Donald Trump, some shit, some shit like that? Uh, they don't know their ass from their elbow. They don't know Jack, all right? 
I mean, what they need to do is just sit there and shut their stupid liberal leftist waste of human life mouths and just take it and eat it. Eat it! Eat it! Eat it, liberals, all right? There's nothing you can do about it. So sit there and keep eating, fatty. Keep eating. <laughs> and you know what, by the way, you know what we should do? A new capitalist uh, a new capitalist army operation. I think that we should encourage all the liberals to just move to California. Say, hey, do you hate Trump? Move to California. All right, you got free health care. I mean, just t- talk about all the socialist perks and and just encourage. Let's just let's just do a systematic ad campaign to encourage these liberal crybabies to go to California and let's encourage them to exit from the union for Christ's sake. And by doing so, believe me, we send as many losers of the left as possible to California. We could bankrupt California. Do you understand that? We could systematically bankrupt California. So I encourage each and every one of you liberals that are out there crying delicious liberal tears. And let me let me take one more drink of liberal tears here. Ah, delicious, baby. Delicious. I like it. <laughs> I encourage each and every one of you leftist, liberal, waste of life, communist trash. All right. Move to California, baby. All right? They'll take care of you. They got free health care. All right? You can get all kinds of government, state-funded uh, entitlements. All right? You can get your weed. You can go smoke your ass off out there. All right? It's right there by the Tijuana border. All right? So you can go get yourself a little bit of squeeze at a damn hump hump uh, camel uh, show bar out there. You do all that crap, boy. You can do all that crap. <laughs> That's right, boy. Move to California, you liberal pieces of trash. And get the hell out of Texas. All of you liberals that live in Texas, get the hell out of here. We don't want you here. You are not wanted. I spit on every liberal in Texas. Pua, pua, I spit on you pieces of crap. Jesus Christ. Let me go to a couple of more calls. How about 614, radio goddamn freaking graffiti, for Christ's sake. Ghost, I laminated the autograph in thick plastic, and I plan to donate it to the local bathhouse. So it can be admired for generations to come while bottoms get plowed. Oh, my. Oh, God, you son of a bitch. Yeah! A freaking bathhouse! God damn you, tough guy! God damn you, tough guy! That is not why I sold my goddamn autograph, you sorry sack of crap! That is not why I freaking sold my autograph, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You know what? I'm done with this garbage. I'm, you know, I'm done with this show. Give me the mic. Give me the freaking mic. I'm done with this goddamn show. You have fruited up this goddamn broadcast. It is officially a goddamn bathhouse Thursday, for heaven's sake. I mean, you know, you'll be lucky if I come back tomorrow for a baller Friday, all right? 4 p.m. Central Standard Time every Monday through Friday, which we traditionally broadcast. Follow me on Twitter, folks, Politics Ghost. All one word, no underscores, Politics Ghost. And get yourself the Meme Wars apparel, baby. It's the pinned tweet on my Twitter account. Everybody who buys a Meme Wars soldier shirt gets the Inner Circle discount Till Saturday. So get your Meme Wars soldier apparel now. I'll be here for more Friday. Be here for more Friday.